the ones to make that judgment. We're not the ones to uproot those we see as seeds, as weeds. Jesus is clear about that. Let them grow together until the harvest, he says. Jesus shows more interest, it seems, in growth than extermination. He is willing to wait and to be patient. If we are his followers, we too will wait and be patient amongst the weeds of our life. While we patiently wait, let's not get too excited about the end of this parable. Let's not revel in and celebrate the end of the age and the coming of Jesus as some divine weed whacker. I don't think Jesus intended this parable to be taken literally, but rather absolute, but rather with absolute seriousness. So do we do nothing? Just sit and wait? No, that's not what Jesus is saying. There is plenty to do, and it will be a challenge. The words that are translated as let them, in Jesus' statement, let them grow, can also be translated as forgive them. It's the same words Jesus spoke from the cross in St. Luke's account of the gospel when he says, Father, forgive them. Even then, on the cross, Jesus is unwilling to pull up the weeds. There is no place in Jesus' gospel for Christian vigilantism by word or by action against another or against ourselves. Love your neighbor, love yourself, love God. Forgive the weeds, love the weeds. Remember the gospel Jesus gives us is always a challenge. So yes, forgive them, love them. Maybe that's how the wheat begins to disentangle its roots from the weeds and show itself to be wheat and not weeds. Maybe love and forgiveness are what life in the mixed field of God's kingdom and this world is like. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.